Hello, family. Welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Go Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you for coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today is a Real Talk episode, uh, and the title of this episode is Order and Honor. Um, and of course, you know, I have some scripture to go with it, um, and it is Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 8, verse 13. Uh, through 14, which read, Be not surety above thy power, for if thou be surety, take care to pay it. Go not to law with a judge, for they will judge for him according to his honor. Okay. Um, and with that being said, um, I know this is different. I usually don't show uh, violence because I the things of it is, if we care too much about the world and we let the world pull us into the muck and mire, then that's all we'll ever discuss. But some things I, I want to highlight and some things I want to share to try to keep us, you know, aware of these things and to try to keep us in order and always giving honor to God and not putting ourselves in situations that would hurt ourselves and our families. Um, before I even get deep into it, I want to go back to that um, to that verse 14, where it says, uh, go not to law with a judge for they will judge for him according to his honor. And what God has put on my heart with this scripture is uh, it means if you come up against anyone in authority, the others in authority will give them honor over you. Uh, and so with that being said, you know. We always must remember to leave situations with our life, even if we are not treated right. We just have to worry about leaving situations with our life intact. Uh, and that's something that I'm thankful of being here, uh, that I, I, I'm pretty fairly certain that I'm going to leave uh, whatever situation intact with my life. Uh, and, you know, it, it's just more things that we'll talk about. But that's where I wanted to start this video. This is what I wanted to uh, put out. And so from this part, I have my earphones on today because I'm going to listen and react to this in real time. So you guys can get uh, what I'm thinking about it. So without further ado, we'll get into it. This gentleman says, let's go, baby. We're fist to leave. And he's telling one officer this. Uh, and so at this, you have to understand the order of how God created us. Uh, man, woman, uh, children, um, and definitely God on top of it all. So I hate that I'm stopping or pausing this video in any way. But I, I say that to say this, men have a keen sense of awareness when it comes to trouble. We know we have very uh, limited things that we can do before there is trouble uh, because everybody who has testosterone knows that they are ready to fight in real time, that they're ready to argue in real time, that they're ready to uh, you know, act barbaric in a sense in real time. And we are not the, the brutal abusers or, you know, things of that nature, which the whole world would categorize us as. But right here, this gentleman is asking, you know, his wife to come on, let's go. And I only say that to preference this. I had a situation with my wife at one time. And, you know, throughout this situation, you know, my wife had got kind of out of character, you know, and I love my wife, but she was trying to stand up for what she thought was right. And regardless whether right or wrong, she handled it in an inappropriate way. And so I told her, hey, just leave. I got this. And she was angry with me because she thought I was taking the other person's side. But in all actuality, I didn't want any type of misunderstanding 
between my wife and this person. You know, me being the man there, coming in between my wife and this other person, getting my wife out of the situation allowed for me to de-escalate the situation. It allowed for me to speak reason and calm both sides down because one felt intimidated and one was intimidating. And in order for my, uh, you know, wife not to have any problems, I don't want to see my wife in jail. I didn't want to see, uh, you know, any physical violence between uh, these two parties. And so, you know, and, and me having to step in and me having to do things of that nature. So in order for me to defuse this whole situation, I told my wife, hey, go get outside, go in the car. And she was highly upset. But, you know, as I explained to her later on down the line, you know, you're so much more important than what we were arguing about. You are so much more important to our children than what we were arguing about. You are so much more important to our lives going forward than what you were arguing about. But you couldn't see it at the time because you were in your feelings and you were mad about the situation where somebody may have been trying to take advantage. And neither here or there, it got resolved. Maybe to our detriment, but the thing is, my wife is not injured. My wife does not have a criminal charge because of some misbehavior or some altercation. And we are able to continue on because of that. And so I say all that just to preference this video because this man right now is trying to get his wife to leave. And even though the cop says uh, after she refuses to go, now he says y'all can't leave. And at that point, she should have sat quietly with her man until they got everything, you know, calmly de-escalated. De because some people want to escalate the violence, want to start the drama and want to cause the trouble. And you can't get sucked into the world. You know, and that's what it is when I, I go to that scripture, what we're talking about, it's because the police person or the police officer is an authority, right? So you're coming up against someone that's in authority to others who are in authority with him also, right? So it says, go not to law with a judge. He is the judge of this situation. He determines who's right or wrong. And so you're going to him with your case, but he has already placed a case against you because before even knowing the situation, he said you were wrong because of whatever somebody else said. He didn't do his due diligence. He didn't investigate. He didn't do any of that. But he already determined that you were wrong. So the wife didn't understand that going to the law, you know, with a judge, the judge of the situation, it wasn't going to work. Uh, because what it says, they will judge for him. They will judge for the officer accordingly. You have made the officer upset. So he, he, judge accordingly. They're going to side with him on his behalf, not yours. And, you know, that's like, you know, when I was young and I have my, uh, you know, uh, friends and, you know, you got a gang of people and you know you don't mess with them over there and they don't mess with you over here. But if you're alone, hey, y'all got it. I'm not going to fight and argue with you guys because guess what y'all have the advantage so why go up against somebody who has the advantage they're always going to have the advantage and i have you know some of these you know remarks about you know what i said um highlighted but nevertheless uh i want to get through this as quickly as possible so no more talking from me i'll let you guys watch the video <laughs> Yeah, I'm right. I'm right right here because he asked him. 
So, try to let you guys get all the way through it because I don't want to break up the video and I'm not a big component of the violence, but that's what you see in the world. Now, as we see what goes on, you know, the thought is from my perspective is that she won't listen to him at, at this time, but she wants him to listen to her and them. When if she would just have listened to her husband in the first place, it could have been de-escalated. Um, and now it's a whole bunch of hollering. It's a whole bunch of yelling. It's a whole bunch of things going on. And now it can't change anything. You know, because, you know, this woman, as you can see her throughout the video, is getting pushed around fairly easy by these, you know, officers. And her husband, the one man, they're having difficulty with him. Four, four officers are trying to manhandle him and try to treat him in a certain way, to slam him, to, to do whatever to him. And that is just the dynamic, you know, of what's going on in this situation. But I digress. I'm going to let the video finish and then I'll just come back at the end and we'll wrap it up.
So family, this is the end of the video, and this is what was put on my heart about this message today about order and honor and how we should move in this space. Um, family, I appreciate you for coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey.